Good morning, team. That was a great win out there last night. Can't believe that pass you through, John. Incredible. Thanks, coach. But I could have done it without my team. That's right. And we're lucky you had Tommy out there to protect you. That was a great job out there, big guy. We're going to state this year. I can feel yeah, it. Yeah. Whoa! Let's go. Yeah! Right. Woo! Uh, yeah. Who's unstoppable? The Who's unbeatable? The Tigers! The three and oh boys. No one's stopping us this year. Especially since we have Tommy, the tank, Jackson, the killing machine. Hey, 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 hey. You guys can still win without me. Hey, don't be modest, tank. You're the guy who sends players home in a body bag. I don't know about all that. Anyways, I gotta get to class. I'll catch up with you guys later. Great game, you saved the game. <laughs> Thanks. This looks cool. Do you think we should go? Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> what are you doing? Yo, you're not seriously thinking about joining a baking club, are you? <laughs> no. I mean, it might be fun to do something after school. But that's when you play football. Yeah, but I've been thinking about trying other things. Wait, you're telling us you're gonna quit football to bake? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, quit playing. You're the tank. You belong in a helmet, not an apron. Yeah, come on, give me that. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna be a tank anymore. You're serious about this? I've been thinking about quitting for a while. I was planning on talking to coach today after school. I'm really sorry, guys. You're making a huge mistake. You're built to be a killing machine, not a baker. Yeah, I really think you should reconsider. If we lose because you decided to abandon your team, it's not gonna be good. Let's go. And a good place to show off your skills is at the upcoming Fall Festival! <laughs> Hi there. I'm Alice. <laughs> Are you here for the baking club? I think he's just here to eat all the desserts. <laughs> hey, stop that. Felicia, sorry. Did you want to learn how to bake? I think so. Great! Well, grab an apron. What's your name? Tommy. Tommy. Uh, are there any bigger ones I can use? He's probably gonna need a whole tablecloth. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Cut it out. Let's all be nice to each other. Especially you, Stacy and Felicia. Don't worry about it. We'll order you a bigger one next time. Well, let's go ahead and start with our first lesson, which is learning how to use basic tools. <laughs> Look, fellas. The tank traded in his football helmet for a baker's hat. How cute. Yeah, he probably traded in his cleats for a little easy bake oven too, huh? <laughs> you guys stop, please just leave me alone. Or what, you gonna bake us some cupcakes? I can't believe how soft you got on us all of a sudden. Give me this. Hey, give that back. You gonna make me? That's what I thought. Wow. The old tank wouldn't have backed down. You really have changed. Yeah, now that you betrayed us, you better watch your back. Nice work, Morgan. Excellent job, Kendra. Uh, <laughs> How are we doing over here? I think I messed up. My cupcakes didn't turn out quite right. Uh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Remember, when you mess up, it's not a big deal. You can always start over from scratch. That's what my mom used to say. Hmm. Thanks. Just try it again. And this time, let them stay in the oven a little longer. <laughs> oh, by the way, everyone, Registration for the Fall Festival Baking Contest is now open. I'll just leave the flyers right here. <laughs> oh, hey, watch it, Fatso. OMG, I'm so sorry. My cupcakes, you ruined them. 
Why do you have to be so big? Hey, Felicia, he said he was sorry. There's no need for all that. Are you kidding? He ruined my cupcakes. I didn't mean to. I'm just not used to working in such a tight space. <laughs> yeah, that's something your pants could never say. <laughs> hey, <laughs> cut that out. That was not nice. And it'll be the last time either of you say anything disrespectful again. Understand? Good. <laughs> hey, where you going? Tommy, please stop. I'm not made for this. I should have just stuck to football. Well, there's certainly nothing wrong with you going back to it if that's what you want to do. Is that what you want to do? No. But at least I was good at tackling people. So if you were so good at it, why did you decide to leave the team? I just got tired of being seen only for my size. Everyone always calls me Tommy the Tank. Not one time has anyone asked if I ever liked that. I'm more than just my size. But no matter what I do, it seems like that's the only thing everyone cares about. I'm so sorry you have to go through this. People can be so mean or ignorant sometimes. But don't let them stop you from doing what it is that you love. Yeah. Well, even though I'm supposed to be tough, it hurts. I know. Going from football to bacon, that's a pretty big jump. What made you want to try this? I've always wanted to learn. When I was a little kid, I would always watch my mom bake. You see? I remember walking downstairs all the time to the smell of freshly baked cookies. Everything she made was so good. But my favorite of all was her pumpkin pie. I always asked my mom to teach me how to bake. And every time she'd tell me the same thing, that for now, I should just enjoy eating everything. But when I got old enough, she would teach me. What both of us didn't know was that she wasn't gonna be around long enough to see that happen. Because not too long after, we found out that she was sick, really sick. And before I knew it, a few months later, I got the saddest news that I'd ever gotten, that my mom was gone. So you see, my mom never did get the chance to teach me how to bake. And I never forgot about it. And when I saw your flyer, it reminded me of her. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry about your mom. It's OK. It's been a long time. But it's crazy, even after all these years, that I still think about her pumpkin pie. You know, pumpkin pie is very fall. You can try making it for the festival. I wouldn't be able to. She never taught me how. And besides, you saw what I did earlier. I'm pretty bad at baking. That's OK. Everyone starts somewhere. You're right, but. I don't know if a big, clumsy tank like me could ever figure it out. Sure you can. Besides, a wise person once told me, you're more than your size. Thanks, Alice. So will I see you tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> and just in case I burn the place down, have a fire extinguisher nearby. <laughs> I have it on standby. <laughs> From that point forward, Tommy bakes every chance he gets. He bakes with the club. He bakes at home. And he even bakes when he goes to visit his family. Most of the time, whatever he makes turns out pretty good. But once in a while, Tommy does mess up. And whenever he does, he has no problem with starting from scratch again. Eventually, Tommy gets so good that even other club members want to learn from him. All done. Oh, incredible, Tommy. 
they look delicious. <laughs> wow, can you teach me to bake like that? <laughs> I wanna try one. Me too. Would you mind if I- Guys, you cannot eat these. Tommy is submitting them for the competition. There's no point in him even entering because there's no chance his cupcakes are gonna beat our brownies. Well, I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Are these ready to go? Yep, here you go. Great, let me put those away. Can I see those? Uh, sure. Wow, these actually don't look half bad. Thanks. What do you think? Oops, it slipped. My cupcakes! Why would you do that to him? That's so messed up. You totally did that on purpose. No, she didn't. She said it slipped. Okay. <laughs> What happened? I accidentally dropped Tommy's cupcakes. I feel so bad. Oh no. There's no way you can submit those now. Well, you have to throw them away. It's fine, I wasn't gonna win anyway. Well, you still have a couple of hours. Can you try whipping up something new? I guess. Do you want help? Yeah, we can stay back. No, I'll be all right. You guys, go ahead, I don't want you to be late. I'll see you all in the cafeteria. Okay. Come on. Good luck, Tommy. And we'll see you soon. And next up are Felicia and Stacy's brownies. Mmm, those look delicious. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Mmm. Mm. This is incredible. Yeah, I didn't think anyone was gonna top the pumpkin spice cookies, but I think these just did. Agreed. Mm. Well, I mean, if this is our last entry, then um, I think we found our winner. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, there was supposed to be one more, but I guess he wasn't able to finish in time. Okay, well, if we're all in agreement, mm. the winner is... Wait! Am I too late? No, you just made it. Great. Uh, Tommy? Hey, coach. I didn't know you were competing, big guy. Huh. Well, guess gonna have to see if your baking is as good as your blocking, huh? <laughs> what you got for us? Tommy baked us some pumpkin spice cupcakes, and I am oh, on this. I didn't bake the cupcakes. You didn't? Then what'd you bake? But I thought you said your mom didn't get a chance to- I made it off of memory. I watched her long enough and I figured, I may as well give it a try. Well, shall we? <laughs> Tommy, go hang out with the other students. Okay. Okay. You just missed the way the judges were raving about our brownies. Yeah. You would have been better off leaving your desserts where they belong. In the trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it isn't the traitor himself. Oh gosh, not now. Hey, don't worry. We're not gonna be mean to you. You're not? We talked about it and we feel really bad about what happened. As a matter of fact, we got you a little gift, didn't we boys? Yeah, yeah. it's right here. A pie? We know how much you love to bake, so consider it a peace offering. A way of saying we're sorry. Here, have it. Uh, I'm all right, but thanks. No, we insist. Eat it! <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, what did you do that to Tommy for? Come on, coach, he betrayed us. He did no such thing. If he doesn't want to play football anymore, then that's his choice. But we cannot force him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. But football is what he's built for, coach. I'm baking in some kitchen. Tommy can do whatever he likes. He's more than just his size. Okay, coach, you're right. We're sorry. We won't mess with him anymore. Oh, not as sorry as you're gonna be. Everybody, hit the field, now. You're gonna run until the sun goes down. Oh, wait, but coach. But nothing. I mean, unless you all wanna visit the principal's office. Huh? That sound good? I thought not. Get, now! I'm sorry, son, you okay? It's fine, I'm okay. Help him out here. So, did our brownies win? Um. Actually, um, about that, 
And the winner of this year's Fall Festival Baking Contest is Tommy! What? You can't be serious. This is so dumb. Seriously, I won? Mm -hmm. That had to be the best pumpkin pie I've had in my entire life. This reminded me of the pie my grandma used to make. <laughs> yeah, Tommy. I mean, we knew that you were good at football, but I mean, who knew that Tommy the Tank's hey. pumpkin pie? <laughs> Just call him Tommy. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but who? All I'm trying to say is that your baking is on another level. So, um, would you mind if I take the rest of that home? No problem. <laughs> Thanks. Your mom would be so proud of you. So you guys still down to rehearse at my place? Yes, sir. Is it cool if I bring Stacy? Yeah, Giselle wants to come too. It's fine by me. Bring all the cute girls you want. Afterwards, maybe we can all go out. Guess who? Oh. Uh, Brandy. Angela. Hey, baby. I was totally kidding, I knew it was you. You better be kidding, Jack. Um, what's up? I was kind of busy talking to the guys about rehearsal. I have a surprise for you, but it'll cost you a kiss. You know, I don't like PDA. Oh, right, sorry. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know you can get rid of that old guitar. No way. Are you serious? Don't tell me. It's the new guitar you saw at the store. Angela, baby, this is great. I'm speechless. It's perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. I can't wait to see you rehearse with it tonight. Oh, about that. The guys, they were saying they wanted it to be another band members only session. Band members only? We'll get more work done that way. Oh. oh, okay, that's fine. I mean, you know, that makes sense. Oh, but we can hang out some other time later this week. Just two of us. I'd love that. Thank you so much. You are the best girlfriend ever. <laughs> oh, just gonna. Save that for later. <laughs> okay. Well, I have to go to class, but I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. 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 Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, yes! Yo, that's sick. Dude, that must have cost a lot. Benefits of dating a rich girl, my friends. You are so lucky to have a girl that buys you everything you want. That's exactly why I date her. I call her my little piggy bank. <laughs> Starting to wonder why you chose her, to be honest. Oh, it's just temporary. When our band blows up, we start getting paid, then I won't need her money anymore. You know. You're just gonna kick her to the side? <laughs> That's brutal, bro. Rock stars only date the hottest babes, am I right? Hey, Jack. Hey. Well, it seems like you can get any girl now. Yeah, but it's too small of a school. Angela will find out. Can't lose out on my sweet situation, Chip. Angela is more loaded than those nachos she eats. I just gotta hold out just a little bit longer. Hey, you think you could maybe get her to buy me some new drumsticks? I can try. Well, what else do you guys want? I'll make a list. A Rickenbacker bass would be nice. I'm, since you're asking, uh, you can just add a keyboard to that. You know. Well, if everyone's getting whole instruments, I want a new drum set. All right, might be pushing it a little bit, but uh, Rickenbacker bass, keyboards, Set sticks, and then the stick. Okay. All right. This is so dope. Yeah. And another stage manager, so we should be able to get some pretty major connections. So, does this mean we can get in for free too? <sighs> I wish. We still got to pay for the ticket and for the flights. Unless, uh, unless we drive up and take Jack's car. Mm -mm. 
My car needs new tires, and after I pay for them, I'm not even going to be able to buy my festival ticket. Unless I can get Angela to pay for it. You think she would? That's good to get us all tickets, too. Hey, let me get you girls' chairs so you can eat with us. Thanks, babe. Hey, guys. How was rehearsal last night? Oh, it was good. Yeah, real good. Wish you could have been there. Me too. If you guys ever have a night where it's not a guy. Awesome rehearsal last night. <laughs> yeah, we had so much fun. Wait, they were at your rehearsal yesterday? Mm-hmm. You said it was band members only. Uh, I did, and it was. Giselle and Stacy are in the band, right guys? Y yeah, there are backup singers. Mm -hmm. We just brought them on. They really add an extra level to the vocals. Oh. Okay, cool. Well, I can't wait to hear them. You guys going to a festival? Yeah, that's the goal at least. There's a, supposed to be a lot of industry people there. And we're hoping to maybe meet some music execs. Which can lead us to getting signed by a label. That's a good idea. And this looks Awesome. We should all go. It would be so fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about that. Babe, you don't want to go to this. You'd be so bored. What do you mean? Look at those bands. Can you name any of their songs? Uh, no. But I don't care. I just think it would be fun to go to a festival with my boyfriend. Oh, yeah, true. But it's just that it's going to be another band member only thing. Not even the backups are allowed on this trip, unfortunately. Well, so we can all stay really focused. But when I get back, we can go on our own trip somewhere. I promise. OK, that sounds fun. Oh, but I do have a huge favor to ask. What's up? Would you be able to help me pay for my ticket? <clears throat> Our tickets, they go on sale tonight and, and none of us have any money. Hold on, you want Angela to pay for all of your tickets? No way, do not do that. We're gonna pay her back. It's just like a short term loan until we get our record deal, you know? Uh, I mean, you do believe in our music, right? Of course. Well, then you know we're good for the money. Please, please pay for it. Uh, oh. Please. I guess. <laughs> Angela, that's a lot of money. You should think about this. I don't want to be unsupportive. Especially if it can help them get a deal. Exactly. This is crucial to our career. And when we blow up, we will always remember that you were the one that believed in us. I'm happy to help my baby. Oh, well. Anything for my Jackie yeah. Poo. Okay. <clears throat> well. Bad news. It's not just your tires. You're gonna need a whole new motor. No. Afraid so. You know, I'm actually surprised it hasn't broken down on you already. I don't have that kind of money. I understand. I'll go grab your keys, but be very, very careful. All right? And avoid driving on the freeways. Could be dangerous. I'm not trying to get stranded on the side of the road. Well, we do take credit cards. Yeah, that isn't an option. Maybe, maybe there's someone that you can call, ask to borrow some money or something. 
As a matter of fact, maybe there is. Just give me one second. Oh, yeah, no problem. Hey, we were just talking about you. You were? Of course, I'm always talking about you. You know that. By the way, did you check your inbox? I got the tickets. Seriously? Yep, I got them. You are honestly the best. Thanks. Are you at a mechanic shop? Yeah, and to be honest, I'm kind of in a bind. I may need another favor. Would you mind going into another room so we can chat for a sec? Uh, it's okay. Lisa and I talk about everything. Just tell me. Okay, well, I'm trying to fix my car and it's gonna cost four grand. What? That's so expensive. I know, which is why I was thinking. Do not give him any more money. She's not giving you money for your car. I'm not asking her to give me anything. Angela, can you go into another room so I can talk to you alone? Sure, just give me one sec. Just... What? Sorry. <sighs> okay, I'm alone now. I'm beginning to really not like your friend. Sorry, Lisa's just trying to look out for me. Yeah, but why does she need to look out for you with your boyfriend? I don't know. She thinks you're using me for my money and after you get what you want, you're just gonna leave me. What? I would never do that. You don't have to convince me. I keep telling her that, but she has trouble trusting people. Yeah, well, to be honest, I think she's just jealous. <laughs> no, that's not it. It's pretty obvious to me. I mean, you're dating a rock star, babe. She wishes she was you. That's why she's, she's just trying to ruin our relationship. You really think so? I know so. Even now when I called, she just assumed I was calling you about money. She wasn't worried about me or anything. Well, I'm worried about you. So what do you need? Well, I need to borrow four grand. So Lisa was right? No. She's saying, I'm asking you to give me money. I'm just asking you to let me borrow it. I know it's a lot of money, but if I can't fix my car, then I can't drive the guys to the festival, which means we can't get signed to a label. I don't know, Jack. You keep asking me for money and it's starting to hurt my feelings. Well, you don't think it hurts my feelings being a man and having to ask my girlfriend for money? The only reason I do it is because I know when my music blows up, I'm gonna be the one taking care of everything for you since you believed in me. And I love you. You do? I love you too. You know what, you're right. I I'll let you borrow the money. <laughs> Besides, what's 4K in the grand scheme of things? You are incredible. Thanks, babe. I'm gonna tell the mechanic. Can you give me one sec? Sure. Good news. Got my girl to pay for it. So go ahead and start the work. That's great, man. How'd you manage to pull that off? Easy. Just lied to my girl, told her I love her. <laughs> I got her eating out of the palm of my hand. I see. Um, anyways, uh, give me a couple of days. So. I have your car ready for you. You can pay for it when you pick it up. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'm all set. I'll send you the shop info so you know where to make payment. Okay. You know what? Since you're so amazing, let me take you out for dinner. My treat. Really? You want to do that for me? It's the least I can do. Pick me up at seven. You can choose the restaurant. Okay, I, I can't wait. I'll talk to you soon, babe. I love you.
Please don't tell me you paid for his car. Don't worry about me, okay? He loves me. No, he doesn't. You should know the difference between being loved and being used. He's not using me. He's a good guy. He's even taking me on a date tonight. I feel like you're being naive. Like, there's so many red flags. How so? I mean, it's pretty clear. He never wants to hang out with you and yet has other girls around. And most importantly, he treats you like a personal ATM machine. Please don't talk about my boyfriend like that. No. You need to hear this. Jack is using you, Angela. He only wants you for your money. When was the last time he did something nice for you? Hello, he's taking me to dinner. Only because you just agreed to give him $4,000 for his car. And do you think it's a good idea to be dating a musician? I see where this is coming from now. What are you talking about? Jack was right. You're jealous. Oh, come on. You're really letting him put that idea in your head? You know what? If that's what you want to believe, that's fine. One day you'll see everything for yourself. So, they should have the car ready in time for the trip. Oops, you dropped this. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back with your check. Thank you. That was delicious. I'm so full. Yeah, you crushed that pasta, babe. Do you want some of my leftovers? No, I'm stuffed, but thanks. Oh, don't be shy. I know my baby loves to eat. Please, I don't, I don't want your leftovers. Stop. All right, fine. You say so. I appreciate you taking me out. I feel like we haven't done this in a while. Yeah, well, you deserve it. You're the best for helping me and the guys out. They are so excited for the festival. I'm glad. No rush, take your time, whenever you're ready. Thank you. By the way, you are so pretty. I love that dress. Oh my God, thanks. <laughs> well, someone wants a big tip. Or she meant it. I noticed she complimented my outfit and you didn't. What? Yes, I did. When I saw you. You said, wow, that dress comes in your size. That's awesome. Is that what I said? I'm sorry. You look very beautiful tonight. Well, now you're just saying that. No, I mean it. You're hot. Hey, I got it from here, babe. How about you grab your car from the valet while I take care of this? Are you sure you don't want to just wait and go together? Uh-huh. I'm sure. We'll be faster this way. All right. Thanks again for dinner. Actually, babe. You won't believe this. I forgot my credit card. Would you mind? Uh... Sure. No problem. Here you go. Thanks. Love you. Love you too. All set? Yep. Hey, did I tell you I'm in a band? Really? You were pretty good. You should come watch us perform sometime. That sounds fun, but I don't know how much your girlfriend would like that. Girlfriend? Oh, she's just a friend. 
Are you sure? You look like a lot more than a friend to me. No, she's not my type. I'm much more interested in girls like you. But is that so? Definitely. If you want, I may be able to get you an extra ticket to the San Francisco Music Festival next weekend. I'm actually off that weekend. Oh, well, doesn't that work out nicely? Mm -hmm. I us some more stuff to add to the list. Maybe I should slow down. She seemed pretty annoyed on the car ride home last night. Probably shouldn't have asked her to pay for dinner. Oh, you got greedy. Think she's catching on? Nah. I don't think it's anything I can't fix. I just need to tell her I love her a few more times. That seems to be working. Well, great, because if you could get her to buy us a new amp, that'd be amazing. I'll put it on the list. I also need to ask her for another festival ticket. You called it to convince Angela to buy a stuff list? <laughs> That's hilarious. Convince Angela to buy you stuff, huh? I knew you were using her. You again? Angela told me you were trying to ruin our relationship. You ruined it yourself. Just wait till I show her this. Nice try. She'll never believe you, especially now that the note is gone. That's fine. I'll just tell her what I saw. You're one against four. And I'll just spin it like your jealousy's once again getting the best of you. That lie worked last time, it'll definitely- Work again? Babe, hey. How are you, my love? Oh, spare me. I feel so naive for not listening to Lisa when she tried to warn me. I'm really sorry. It's okay. And I just found out that- I, You don't want to listen to her. I actually regret not listening to her. You see, after I left the table last night, I realized that I had forgotten the valet ticket. When I came back to get it, guess what I saw? You getting the number of our waitress. I couldn't believe it. That's when I started looking into things more. After I got home, I decided to message Stacy. When I asked how band practice was going, she said she had no idea what I was talking about. Turns out, you lied about that too. And then, this morning, I stopped by the mechanic shop to let them know that I was no longer paying for your car to get fixed. As I was leaving, guess what the mechanic told me? That you said you had me eating out the palm of your hand. So you see, I now realize you never loved me. You just loved what you could get from me. I should have known the difference between being loved and being used. Angela, it's not what it seems like. I've... Enough with the lies, Jack. Nothing you say will change my mind. Shall we? What? What about my car? They already started the work on it. I need to pay them. I guess that's your problem. What about the festival? We already got the tickets. I don't know, man. You gotta ask her. Uh, what about the festival? I'm guessing that's canceled too? Nope. I actually upgraded those tickets to VIP. You did? Yep. And I transferred them to all of our names. We're all going to the festival. Woo! <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. Oh. This is unbelievable. Oh, look at the bright side. At least you got a new guitar out of it. I guess that's true. Where is it, anyway? Oh, shoot. It's in my car. Ridiculous. <laughs> hey, man. 
Uh, I actually changed my mind. I'm not ready to get the work done. It's a bit uh, too late for that. I already swapped out the motor. Well, can you take it out? Put my old one back in? Sure. Yeah. Um, right after you pay me for all the labor. I actually don't have any money. Is there any way I can get my car back and pay you later? Sorry about that, buddy. That's, that's not how it works here. All right, fine. Can you at least pop the trunk so I can get my guitar out? Um, I actually think uh, I'm gonna hold on to it. That's collateral. Hey girl, so this weekend I was thinking, oh my gosh, Tanya, look, it's Vinny. Did you see that? He just smiled at me. He's so cute. I heard he's gonna do a promposal today. Imagine if he asked you to go to prom with him. Imagine? I mean, he's the quarterback and I'm the most beautiful girl in the school. Who else would he take to prom? Yeah. What are you doing? You can't eat that. You're on a diet, remember? I know, but I feel so lightheaded. I'm gonna have to eat something. No one's gonna ask you to prom if you're not skinny and beautiful. I mean, look at Chelsea over there. Do you wanna look like her? Guaranteed no one's asking her to prom. Shh, that's so mean. Well, it's the truth. Watch this. Hey, Chelsea. You know, maybe if you didn't eat so much, your clothes would actually fit. Looks like they're bursting at the seams. <laughs> Stop, be nice. Look, what's more important? fitting into your prom dress or eating that sandwich? Well, I have to eat something. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I'm sorry, but I can't let you do this. I can't believe you just did that. I just did you a huge favor. You'll be thanking me later. Hey, you can have the other part of my sandwich if you'd like. Can you mind your own business? She's not eating so she can fit into her prom dress. Maybe you should try following that advice. Oh wait, who am I kidding? It's not like anyone's gonna ask you to prom anyway. Megan. What, am I not allowed to be honest? Anyway, come on. Let's go to the bathroom. You know what you have to do? Fine. Watch it, fatty. I can't do this. Well, you should have thought of that before you took a bite of that sandwich. That's all I had today. I don't feel good. Please, can we just go? No, don't you want to stay skinny? I mean, yeah, I do, but... Okay, then put your fingers together like this and then shove them down your throat. No, don't. What are you looking at, fatty? Hey, Tanya, you don't have to do that. Don't listen to her. I mean, what would she know about being beautiful? I know that doing that isn't going to make you feel beautiful. Trust me. Oh yeah? And how would you know? Well, I used to think just like you. You see, I was obsessed with being skinny. I thought that maybe if I was skinny, then I could finally be beautiful. So I started eating less. But that still wasn't enough. Even though I was barely eating, I still didn't feel beautiful. So after every meal, I'd go to the bathroom and make myself throw up. Until one day, I ended up waking up in the hospital. I had been starving myself so much that I ended up passing out. So you see, I had to almost lose my life to realize you don't have to be skinny to be beautiful because beauty is on the inside, not on the outside. Girl would say that. 
say that. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Tanya. She's just jealous because she could never look like us. Maybe she's right. Are you serious? You're gonna take advice from Fatty over here? She couldn't get a date to prom if her life depended on it. Everyone, come quick! Vinny's doing his prom proposal! Oh my gosh, come on, let's go. Hey, everybody, come here. All right, listen, I'm gonna be asking the most beautiful girl in the world to prom, and I really hope she says yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is it. He's gonna ask me, I knew it. Looks like she's finally here. Hey, Vinny, I'm so excited. I just knew this was gonna happen. Um, hey, Megan, uh, would you mind? Uh... Yes, Vinny, of course I'll go to prom with you. Oh, no, I, I was just gonna ask if you'd mind moving over so I could get through. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Chelsea, will you go to prom with me? Oh my gosh. Yes, of course, I'd love to go to the prom with you, V. Yes. <laughs> what? Are you serious? You're gonna go to prom with her? Yeah, I am. Why? Ew! I mean, why would you do that? She's so fat and ugly, right, everyone? No. <laughs> what? Wow, Megan. You don't need to be skinny to be beautiful. And to be honest, the only person being ugly right now is you. Because beauty's on the inside. It's not on the outside. Kimberly? Oh my God, look at you. Well, I barely recognize you. you. You lost so much weight over the summer. Thanks, Miss Hope. Did you notice anything else? You got braces. I even got a new Minecraft backpack. That is really cool. So tell me, Kimberly, what inspired you to make all of these changes? It's actually Kimmy now. I don't know. A lot of kids made fun of me last year, so I decided to change all these things about myself. Yes, one second. Um, I'm glad that you decided to make all of these changes, honey, but just be sure that you're doing them because they make you happy and not anyone else, okay? All right, everyone, take out your books. I'll be right back. Kimberly, you've lost a lot of weight. Thanks. It's actually Kimmy now, you know, since I'm no longer Kimber the Timber. <laughs> since I lost all the weight and all. You look good, but did you lose too much weight? Yeah. Are you sure you're not sick? <laughs> no. I worked out and dieted all summer. That way no one else will make fun of me anymore. Skinny Kimmy. That should be your new nickname. <laughs> I like that. Hey guys. Kimber the Timber's new name this year is Skinny Kimmy. <laughs> skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy, Skinny Kimmy. Is that a Minecraft backpack? Yeah, you like it? I know what you're thinking. Way cooler than my Lego backpack from last year, right? I don't know what I was thinking. Um, no one cares about Minecraft anymore. Yeah, that's so last year. People only care about Pokemon. Pokemon? I thought that stopped being cool like two years ago. <laughs> it's back. And way cooler than Minecraft. I can't believe you didn't know. Do you live under a rock or something? <laughs> Seriously, no one wears that anymore. Yeah, that's so embarrassing. Hey, uh, 
bed. Do you mind if I sit with you girls? Uh, sure. I guess. Thanks. Something looks different about you. Oh, yeah. I lost a lot of weight. Uh, no, that's not it. It's something else. Uh... Oh, you got braces! Oh, yeah. A lot of kids made fun of me last year because of my teeth. So I decided to get them. Do you like them? Yeah. If you want to look like a brace face. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Or uh, a metal mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Or zipper lips. <laughs> oh, uh, tin grin. <laughs> <laughs> Train drops. <laughs> Cheese grater. <laughs> Kimmy? Kimmy, what's wrong? Honey, please tell me what's wrong. Everyone's making fun of me and I just don't understand. They did the same thing to me last year. Sweetheart, you know you can talk to me, right? I just don't know what to change about myself anymore. You see? Last year, everyone at school made fun of me. They laughed at me for the kind of backpack I had or for how bad my teeth were or for how much I weighed. going home and crying so hard after the last day of school. And that's when I decided I would change everything about myself that people didn't like. So I saved up my money all summer to buy myself a new backpack. I even convinced my mom to take me to the dentist so I could get braces. I even started eating healthier. So you see, I tried to change everything about myself. I even tried to change my name, but people still made fun of me. <laughs> oh, sweet child. You didn't need to change any of those things. You were perfect as you were, and you are perfect now. So then, why do people always criticize me? Sadly, that's just how some people are in the world. If you are overweight, they'll say that you eat too much. If you lose weight, they'll say you look sick. If you dress nice, they'll say you show off. And if you dress simple, they'll say you're poor. Unfortunately, no matter what you do, people will always find a reason to criticize you. Okay, so what do I do? Well, you do what makes you happy. Let me ask you a question. Do you like your backpack? Well, yeah. And do you like your braces? Yeah. <laughs> and do you like eating healthy? Well, then that is all that matters. You do what makes you happy for yourself and for no one else. Wow, I never thought of it like that. Thank you so much, Miss Hope. <laughs> Anytime, sweetheart. Look at Kimmy's backpack. I can't believe she's wearing Minecraft. I already told you, no one wears Minecraft. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I love Minecraft, and I think it's really cool. Plus, I hear no one wears Pokemon anymore. What? Really? <laughs> yeah, that's so last year. 
told you no one was poking on you. No, you didn't. You said it was cool. <laughs> wow, that was really cool. Yeah, I love how you stood up for yourself, Kimmy. Want to have lunch with us today? Sure, but call me Kimberly. I like my own name better. All right, class. Hey, how's it going? The porch pirate came back. I figured out how to catch the package thief. On the outside, it just looks like a regular package. Oh, there's an alert at the house. It's got GPS tracking. It's him. Spring loaded, blew the wrong. We got his location. You just knock on that door. 